Good to be here. All right. What story is Caitlyn Jenner going to tell? All right. So uh, I used to live in L.A. before I gave up. And I lived, yeah, I lived right inside the devil's asshole, Hollywood Boulevard. That's right. It's okay. I think the mayor called it that on TV. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I lived right on Hollywood Boulevard amongst all the superheroes and shit. You know, all these homeless people dressed up trying to hustle people out of money. It was a really weird place, you know? Like, it's the only place where you'd see Batman get robbed by another Batman. It was really... <laughs> Weird, you'd see like this, the fat Spider-Man in dirty clothes. He's like, you wanna take a picture? It's me, Peter Parker. I'm like, I don't think it is. But yeah, super weird stuff on the Hollywood Boulevard. There was, uh, there was guys who would have green Speedos who would do sign spinning for medical marijuana cards. And I, I actually did one of the things from the sign spinners. I showed up and uh, it was just an empty room with a table and they bring a laptop in with a doctor. And the doctor goes, yeah, what's going on? And I said, I'm sad. And he goes, yeah. I go, yeah, I want to die all the time. And he said, all the time? And I said, OK, maybe not all the time. And he said, OK, here's a prescription. Don't go crazy. <laughs> and I've never had a doctor give me a prescription and say, don't go crazy before. That was a new one. I've never gotten to choose how much medicine I get before. That was new, <laughs> too. Never before they've been like, yeah, just tell me when to stop pouring the Adderall. We weigh it by the gram. Whatever you need, man. <laughs> yeah, fifth morphine shot's free. Just bring the punch card. It's fin <laughs> But yeah, super weird. Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, I was out there because I was on a couple of MTV reality shows. Thank you. And uh, I was... <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, I was on a couple MTV reality shows, and it was cool because sometimes people on Hollywood Boulevard, they'd come up to me, and they'd go, MTV, MTV. And I'd go, yes, I'm MTV. And uh, <laughs> they'd say, is this you? And they'd show me a picture on Google of me or something. I'd go, yeah, that's me. And then they'd turn to their kid, and they'd go, see, it's him. Take a picture with him. And the kid would go, Dad, I don't want to take a picture. And that's a cool level of fame to be at, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when it's like, we know who you are, but we're embarrassed, and it, we'd, we'd rather not have people know we ever met you. We don't want to <laughs> have that. Like, if I had a dollar for every time a child didn't want to take a picture with me, they'd want to take a picture with me. That's how many times it happened. I'd be fucking rich. But uh, yeah, very strange place, Hollywood Boulevard, the Walk of Fame, all these golden stars with homeless people. Sleep on. It was just poor people sleeping on rich people's names. And then they would come take the crack out of the star. They'd leave the crack in the person. It was, um, it was my TED talk. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I got invited to the reality TV awards nominees party. Whatever that means. <laughs> and yeah, it was a very strange energy inside the reality TV awards nominees party, just everybody kind of standing around like, I think some of us are talented, right? Like, I mean, that guy's a chef. He does something. But uh, yeah, so I'm in there, and my friend is there. He brought me because he was presenting the award for best freak out, which I don't know if we should be awarding people for this kind of behavior. You know, I don't know how that acceptance speech goes for best freak out. What do you say? I just want to thank my castmates for being pieces of shit, making me have a breakdown on TV. I broke four toes in a coffee table, but I'm here, all right. So I meet a guy who is on Dancing with the Stars, and I say, are you the star? And he goes, yes. Which again, I'm sure that's a good point in your career when people are asking if you are the star. But I don't know, I mean, star is a pretty loose term on that show as it is. It should be called Dancing with the One Guy from That One Thing. Like it's <laughs> Dancing with the, if I said his name, you'd know it. <laughs> so I meet this guy who's the star from Dancing with the Stars, and he turns out to be like a total frat dude, right? He's like, yeah, he's like nut tapping people at the bar and shit. Really over the top, super weird. And he starts chatting me up, and then he goes, uh, yeah, I've got a big mansion right here in Beverly Hills. I live a pretty cool life, you know? Like sometimes, I'll be banging a woman in the middle of the living room, and all my friends will just be standing around jerking off. Is that okay with you? Are you cool with that? 
And you know, I'm networking, so I'm like, yeah, that's totally cool, man. Dancing with the stars, dude, fuck girl, yeah, what up? So uh, he's like, you should come over after this party and we'll hang out, it's gonna be a good time. So I'm like, sure, all right, whatever. So uh, I go to this guy's house right down the street, big fancy mansion, everything's super cool, we're doing cocaine, it's a wonderful time, everything's great. And I, I notice he's got a hot tub. So I say, hey, is it cool if I jump in your hot tub? And he goes, fuck yeah, dude, let's get in the hot tub. And then he strips down completely naked and jumps in the hot tub. And I go, uh, I go hey, um, you're not like, you know, you're not like a gay dude trying to fuck me right now, right? <laughs> And he goes, whoa, whoa, no, dude, come on. Don't be weird. Don't be, this is my house. I just want to get naked in my hot tub. And uh, that was all I needed to hear, I guess. So <laughs> I, uh, I get totally naked, too. And I get in the hot tub with this star. And everything's still cool. Everything, having a good time. Everything's normal. He starts talking to me more. He starts telling me some interesting things. He goes, uh, he goes hey, I might have a gig for you if you're interested. And uh, I go, what is it? And he goes, well, me and a buddy, we go up in the hills and we have sex with an old man's wife in front of him and we split five grand. And I was like, you're like a TV star. You're in movies. You're still doing shit like this? And he goes, how do you think I got that Escalade? <laughs> so I just immediately start doing the grossest math I've ever done <laughs> in my head of like, what's 60 grand divided by 2.5? Uh, okay, so he fucked an old lady's wife 26 times to get this car, which really isn't that bad of a deal when you break it out like that. So, I, I mean, I'm like, okay, I don't know, you know, I'll keep that in mind. I don't want to rule anything out. Yeah, maybe we can do that. That sounds okay, whatever. And, uh, you know, so everything's still normal. And then he goes, uh, he goes, so uh, he tells me a story. He goes, so when I was younger, I got molested in a summer camp in a bunk bed by a, a camp counselor. I go, okay, sure. And then he goes, I want to show you something. And I go, okay. So I follow him into his house. We're both still naked. And <laughs> he brings me up to this room. He goes, hey, by the way, if you want to spend the night tonight, I got these bunk beds here. And I, yeah, I go, you just told me a story about getting molested in bunk beds and you're asking if I want to sleep over in a bunk bed? And he goes, what? I don't know, what, the, what are you talking about? I don't see any connection. I'm like, okay, sure. And, uh, and then he goes, I want to show you something else. And then he walks me into his bedroom and then he takes out a remote, he hits a button and black shades go down over all the windows. And then he puts on hardcore shit piss porn on his TV, starts dildoing himself in the ass with a makeup brush, hands me a whip, and goes, whip me! Whip me! <laughs> and at this point, I'm thinking, things are starting to get a little weird. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm new in town. I had only been in LA for 10 days when this has happened. And I'm like, you know, I'm a guest in this guy's house. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> so I, you know, begrudgingly, lightly start whipping this star. You know, throwing a couple hard ones because I'm kind of annoyed at this, but I think that's a little counterproductive at this point. I think he likes it too much. And he starts telling me, he starts promising me, he goes, hey, you know, uh, I could probably get like this porn star woman here if you want to double team a porn star with me. And I'm like, I, sure, I guess so. That sounds pretty cool. And, he, and he's, he's hyped. He goes, yeah, it's going to be really cool, you know? It's going to be super hot. Like, you're going to come inside of her, and then I'm going to go down on her. Yeah, Carol Wood Soup. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a, you know, I was like, I like the, you know, I like the first part where I have sex with a lady. That sounds nice. I mean, the whole second part, that can be all you. I don't really want to have anything to do with that. Yeah, so, you know, she, she doesn't show up. He's still doing his thing. He's dildoing himself in the ass. I'm just kind of hanging out in the corner like, this is interesting. And uh, he, starts, uh, he starts huffing some shit out of a can. And I'm like, I'm, I didn't see this part in La La Land. I don't know what's going on here. So it turns out, I go, what is that? He goes, this is poppers. I go, I don't know what that is. He goes, here, take a little whiff. So I take the tiniest smell of whatever's in this container. It floors me. 
And then while I'm on the ground, the guy, still naked, tries to get on top of me. He tries to mount me while I'm laying down. And it takes everything in me to just push this guy off and get him off of me. And I get up and I go, dude, you've been saying that you're not a gay dude trying to fuck me. You're grabbing my dick and shit. You're clearly up to something. Something's wrong here. And he goes, hey, hey, if touching dicks makes me gay, maybe I'm a little bit gay. And the winner for best freak out goes to dildoing with the stars. But so I, I have left. I leave after he does this to me, you know, and, and just, you know, people, they, they ask, they go, why would you stick around during such nonsense? Why would you let all this happen in front of you? To be fair, as things started to get a little weird, I said to the guy, I said, just so you know, I'm only here because I'm going to talk about this on stage. And he goes, Hey man, do whatever you want, just don't say my name. The guy's name is No, he wants to fuck me. He doesn't care about these celebrity starlets. He wants some boy booty. He doesn't fucking care. And when I've told this story before, Anytime I tell this to my comic buddies and all this stuff, they always have the same question. All my comic friends, they go, dude, why didn't you just let him fuck you? You'd be in movies and shit. Because yeah, comics are assholes, right? <laughs> and I'll tell you why I didn't fuck this guy. I'll tell you why I didn't let this man take advantage of me. Because I wasn't broke yet. <laughs> if, he, if he caught me like six weeks later, I probably wouldn't be telling this story. <laughs> all right, guys, good night, I love you! Thank you. Yeah, how about that? <laughs>